out team members of AOD who's actually having to get carried off the floor with an apparent lower leg injury. You see that emptiness in lane three on the left side of your screen, so a withdraw early on from Blueprint CrossFit AOD. They're a previous games team, so that is a big loss from this field. Here's a big one. If you don't make it, would it have still been worth it? <laughs> um, it's very hard to explain to, to people that aren't competing of how, how hard that is, because it's, like, it's not about the weekend, like, it's about your life, right? And it's like, you know, we're putting in 30 hours a week, if not more, well, of training, and then all the stuff on top of it, all of and it's, it's just so much that goes into it that then when something is gone, you're very, it's very hard to not be caught up on that. I spoke to someone and it's almost like a form of grief, isn't it? And it's, so it's just kind of taking time to process and I don't know, you're just never gonna forget it. And I do remember Mike saying something to me and I think it was on the day and he was just like, I know this is really hard, but I do believe that we're going to do something special coming out of it. It's like we're going to go next year and something insane is going to happen. And I think he's right. Morning, morning. Hello, How are you doing? I literally hate the cold. I like. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the hate or waking up and and the cold? So it's not a good, not a good combo, right? The alarm might go off. Yeah. So Ooh. this is actually my favourite version of the gym. Okay. When it's just so peaceful. Oh. Yeah, that's my favourite version. <laughs> <laughs> but... Talk me through it. Is this a typical Saturday? Like, what's what's this Saturday got in particular for you? Um, yeah, I guess quite typical. So I've got a bike session to start. My coach describes it as aerobic muscle fibre training. Ooh. Type mm. one training, sorry, that's okay. the right word. I used to be a swimmer and I used to be a sprint swimmer and we did this testing stuff. He's like, you just use, you just go anaerobic so quickly, basically. And he was like, it's really common for crossfitters because you do everything like a million miles an hour, right? But he's like, you do all this testing and you just automatically go into like making lactic acid. So I'm doing my session as normal. But then I'm, I am actually taking some bloods at some point, so. I say taking some bloods, like a, fit, a thumb prick, so. So that'd be kind of cool. How are you with blood? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. I used to have a lot of blood tests as a kid. I used to have a blood condition when I was younger, but then I had like a really low platelet count. It gets shortened to ITP. Okay. Like chronic ITP. It basically meant that my body kind of thought I was ill, but I wasn't. And it would like destroy loads of the platelets in my blood. So that's why I ended up having loads of blood tests because every week they were like, we need to monitor this. And I mean, I was like eight, eight to 10, doesn't bother me now. But yeah, so that's why I'm kind of used to having blood tests, I guess, and went for that for like three years of just having a blood test every week. And so that doesn't, if I had to go and have a blood test now, I wouldn't like it, but doing stuff like that doesn't bother me. I just got to do six, 10 minute intervals. Um, but like I said, they're, they're very easy pace. All right, let's go. First little plug, Modiflex. Let's go. Show the merch. Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> if I weren't here, what would you do? Listen to music? Do you listen to a podcast? Sometimes I'll sit and do nothing. Um, a lot of the time I'll just watch TV. As in, I'll just kind of like binge watch New Girl at the moment. <laughs> and he'll just be sat here. <laughs> and I'm like staring at the screen yeah. and people think I'm really focused and they'll come over and I'm like, oh, I'm just watching New Girl. I don't really know what I'd do. Like if I didn't, I wasn't training like, like, like today, right? I'm pretty much here all day, forgetting if I had any work to do or not. So I just did like a Monday to Friday job. I just don't know what I'd do all weekend. I'm sure you'd fill it with stuff, wouldn't you? But I'm just like, don't know, be quite chilled. But 
that's one thing that I think is like, um, we're just so busy, right? But other, I don't know, I guess you're just like, take out, take out 25 to 30 hours of training from your week. And you just be like, oh, I've got so much free time. All that new girl you could be watching. Yeah, all that new girl, yeah, yeah. Just be back to season one so quickly. <laughs> Was this your doing, Super Satter Slay? Yes, of course. It's for the girls. For the girlies. And for the, for the boys. They love, they love a Super Satter Slay. <laughs> Something that I would say about Helen is she's the best person for if you're doing a workout or like a qualifier and you need encouragement. It's like firm but fair. She would slam your, slam your back so that you pick up the bar but it's like it's good because you wouldn't have picked it up otherwise and she just talks you through it it's the teacher in her she's very good at encouraging and get making you do it without feeling like you're not like oh stop you're like no i need i need helen but in the open i'm like helen my judge helen yeah is it like an actual slap does she actually give you an actual no, no, back no, slap like, a metaphorical like, slap no no she's oh wait like this. Get down. Oh, she actually gives you like a proper... Yeah, she's like... <laughs> <laughs> Any weird things that Helen does that you catch her doing that you're like, oh, a bit weird? Mm. Oh, Helen's pretty put together. Oh, she drinks so many Red Bull. Just, it's just cranked in the Red Bull. And like a weird flavours that no one else drinks. There's like a blue one, who even knows? It's a it's a berry I've never heard of, but she loves it. Oh, yeah. Oh, go on, yeah, go on. Send it. Oh, that's breakfast. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I guess everyone probably thinks um, Helen's quite big and scary, but she actually just wants to have a cat, a little pet cat. <laughs> Or maybe like a cat family, um, and that's and that's all she really desires in life is is CrossFit and and a few cats, I think. <laughs> so I heard that you want to own a lot of cats. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, I was Harry. Yeah. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> um. Lots of cats, definitely the one, definitely one. Um, I do love cats, yes. <laughs> he, um, he likes to make a joke that I'm a crazy cat lady, but I'm actually okay with it, so. Um, Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next job. Oh yeah, I can't go past this bit. <laughs> Thanks for missing my feet as well. <laughs> hey, I think this will be nice and light now. I think she's a really caring person. She not only looks after you physically, but she's just such a lovely person to chat to. She always asks the right questions depending on your mood. Um, she remembers things that you've told her before and she, yeah, she's just a lovely person. So it's a bit of mental therapy as well as physical therapy with Helen. Go on, tell me something about Helen. And it was Fraser, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Yes, Fraser. Helen, so my daughter absolutely idolises her. Um, she is nine, she comes to CrossFit Kids. They're kind of the same sort of build. So she kind of looks up to her like, I want to be like that one day, which is pretty epic to be fair. Always talking about her, always watching her. A little bit creepy. But, um, <laughs> she likes it. Oi, listen, I don't know I don't know who wore them better. Yeah. Hang yeah. on a minute. Yeah. We didn't plan this. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Come on now. Coach of the Year award for blueprint is coming up and you have somebody's one. personality <laughs> has significantly <laughs> changed. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Helen, talk me through. What have we got here? Um, so this is a new festive wrap from GSN. Wow. Um, it is. Go on. 
let me read it to you. It's tender roast chicken, turkey bacon, and traditional stuffing That's with shit. gravy yeah, yeah. and sweet cranberry <laughs> sauce. Like so it's getting you well. in the Christmas mood. Gripping my cheese. Um, they're ready in three minutes. They've got high protein. Easy to fit in your day. What more could you want? Easy to fit in your mouth. Easy to fit in your mouth. There you go. Probably won't use that one, but. The northwest is America. Oh, yeah. The south yeah. is How is that? Is that seven How would you describe her to somebody else? Like, is she quiet? Is she loud? Very bubbly and loud and fun and friendly. She has tons of friends. So. Oh, yeah. And she buys people drinks, which is really nice. Yeah, she? she comes in, she gets like multiple people drinks. It's really cute. Little sip of coffee thing. Daddy O. Daddy O. <laughs> With the mustache, Daddy O. <laughs> oi, oi. Wait, let's do that. The little. Ooh. Tell me something about Helen. Helen, I think that Helen in the past life was um, a cat or a dog. <laughs> because, in my opinion, she seems to get on better or prefer animals to people. You know, one of those people. Um, not that she, she, she's not, you know, she's not that like she doesn't get on with people, but um, she, her love for animals is, you know, she would save my girlfriend's dog before she saved me in a house fire. Uh, how would I describe Helen to others? Strong, I would say strong. Wi strong willed, physically strong, you know, mentally strong. Um, and uh, she doesn't take, she doesn't take a lot of shit, you know, that's what I'd say about Helen. She's strong, she doesn't take a lot of shit. And if you had to describe her in one word, what word would that be? Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Is she going to see this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, wor the world is going <laughs> to see this, Mike. <laughs> uh, I would describe Helen. She is fierce. That's what I'd say. Fierce. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing now? Uh, Got to warm up for thrusters. So yeah. So some heavy thrusters into some like strength endurance thrusters. And then we'll like come back in and we'll go through like some um, practice stuff. So yeah, so I'm just gonna go get ready. Yes. Is a weapon. Oh my goodness. Uh, she's a force to be reckoned with. She's got a face of an angel Ooh. and a body as a <laughs> badass. Whoa. That's it. I feel like I have quite a stressful job and Helen always coaches on a Wednesday. And she brightens my week. Um, I actually do come every Wednesday for her. She is like the friendliest coach. She'll actually like pump you up. She cares about the members. She's a really nice person. Oh, I love that. Oh, God, that is. Guys! Helen doesn't tell me off when I'm late to class. <laughs> I think Helen has the most beautiful hair ever, and she always wears really beautiful headbands. Her nails are always really colourful, as are her gym outfits, so that always brightens up my gym experience. You tell them. <laughs> Helen Nutter is a big, strong, badass. Damn, Daniel. Damn. Bye bye! Oh, bye! What are you guys working on currently? Uh, bit of worm clean slash clean and jerk practice for Sid. So this is one team. Minus Ross infiltrating. This is another team. So. Do you get closer to the end? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not very loud. Yeah. 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 Forward, yeah. No, just do a clean first, then walk forward. Yeah. Too quick on your shoulder. Yeah. Nice shoulder, good save. Um, yeah, because you're going like here. Like that. And as soon as you pick it up, that'll sag. I'd literally go like there. You've got to feel that shit, but like, you'll be more useful if it whips as one than that hanging down. Yeah? Oh, I'll call. Yeah. Let's go, Timo! Come on, we're going to take him last. <laughs> Next wall.
is this headband colour coordinated to the outfit? Because I see it. it I'm not going to lie. It's yeah, got. Yeah. It has got a little bit of a. Oh, the ombre. The ombre. I like they don't necessarily go together. No, I think it's. I think it's a look. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Oh, oh. For time. Oh, cheese. Plug it. Plug it. Hang on. Hang on. Hold it there. A bit smoother. Ciao. Yeah, can I get the slap? Are you doing the slap? The little penguin slap? Can't Come over. Do you got to do the wins. penguin Come slap. On, Bring it over. I'm facing this one. Can we get? Can we get it in the middle? Like a little. Get some slappage. Team Supernova. Oh my Let's god. Go. Let's go. So we're going for a relay. Thirty wall balls. So for example, I'm going first. I'll do thirty wall ball, thirty toe spark, thirty dumbbell snatch. It's meant to be fifteen bo burpee box jump overs. I've got to go over a parallel because I my ankle. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> as, soon as, I, as soon as I finish that, I'll tag Holly in and she'll go until one, two, three, four have finished. Going for the win. Let's go. Uh, do we have the tag? out there is good cool. so yeah. Lauren <laughs> tell me <laughs> deadpan zoom I think Helen has different intensities that she's very good at switching from so she's someone who in a workout will be very on your back if you need her to which I think like for me personally I really like that like if I'm starting to slow down a workout having Helen yell at me is very helpful um, but yeah she's very good at, like switching it on and switching it off when she needs to she's good at actually getting hands on like in terms of if you're lying on the floor <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Well, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> like, what was she doing? The, like a little, yeah, 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 All yeah. Good things. When you watch her work out, um, obviously she's very physically strong um, when it comes to things like the barbell. She's very good at lifting a heavy bar, as you probably saw today. Um, but yeah, just in terms of like motivation, like being able to pick up the heavy bar um, and just maybe backing herself with the heavier weights as well. Yeah. So what are we doing now? Um, oh, just a bit out of breath. It's all right, take your time. <laughs> Um, just some handsome walk skills. So, as you can see. Oh, bad timing. Um, we're just doing some five minute arm wraps. They're like skill practice. So, we're trying to do wall walk up, handsome walk out, backwards handsome walk, back into the wall, wall walk down. Not as easy as it sounds. First time you've done this before? First time. I haven't done much backwards handsome walk before, to be honest. I think I've only tried it one or two times before. So, kind of first time, yeah. Especially going out and then back. Got my guy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it! It's all practice, it's all practice. It's all practice, it's all practice. Yeah, it's all practice. Any last words? Bing bong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy, let's go. Bing bong. Tell me a little something about Helen. Oh, Helen, she's, she's lovely. I mean, she's very motivating in a workout. It was last year in the Open. I only recently joined here, and the last bit, she literally pushed me down to the barbell. I was very grateful afterwards. At the time, I wasn't. But afterwards, like, I couldn't have done that without her there. Obviously, inspiration to watch. Um, but that, obviously, you can see anyway. So, we have split into half. Oh, we're about to start. Um, we're starting on the rope climb capacity. So, we're doing three rounds. 
um, rowing into a seated legless, then your partner goes. Then it's like more rowing, normal legless, more rowing, normal rope climb. So we just do like lots of rope climb capacity work really. Oh. Lots of strict ring dips. Not a good combo. Well, the nails are looking good against the contrast of that bar. They're what? Nails? Yeah, they're looking good against the black against that bar. <laughs> That's why I've got them. <laughs> you look pensive. Huh? You look oh, pensive. I am, I am feeling now. Yeah. Besides, because I'm only on round three of five. Would you be anywhere else? No, nowhere to be. No, I did enjoy it. They're probably our favourite session of the week, to be fair. Come on, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, oh, my God. oh, my limbs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just called the whips. My little whips. Show <laughs> me. So who is here? Oh, she's just this absolute pain in the ass. <laughs> That's where I'm starting the interview. <laughs> the fun fact as well, I think it was a four rep max front squat or some squat clean event. She came like second in the whole of Europe or something. So I know that I found that out yesterday. She's always she's always striving for excellence. She's always going above and beyond, and she loves the sport so much. I guess it's a bit get a bit deep, but I think this is something I particularly have had to work on. So. This season, getting injured or get, getting a team injury second year in a row is a big stinger. And it's like, it's not very, I said it is unheard of, not unheard of, but you know what I mean, it's rare. And it, um, it's quite a like, tough pill to swallow, I guess, because it's like, for all four of us, you're just suddenly cut. I can quite confidently say that this year was probably harder. And it's through no one's fault, but it's just like, a, and I think all four of us would agree, it's almost a like, I think we were more ready, as in, well, we, we were ready. And like, we were, you never know what's gonna happen. You have to pull out the scores, all of that. But like, we were very confident going in. Um, and everyone was very dialed in and like really focused. And I think probably what hurt this year is you didn't get to try because, you know, go the year before and it's like, it's really sad happening in event five of six and it's like, you've kind of put yourself in this position and, it, and we were quite borderline whether we would have done it even if we didn't get an injury kind of thing and whereas this year because it's event one it's almost like you didn't get to try so it's not even like you got to showcase anything or know where you're at or like if you could do it um in the moment yeah I mean it was awful right like I was probably no I don't think in denial is the right word but I was very set on I was going I was like I am going out onto the competition floor until someone tells me I'm not and it's like 
even though you kind of know the situations happen and it's like in a realistic logical situation and you're like you know we have got this injury it's it's not looking like we're going out but I was just like I'm warming up and I was just like doing ring muscle ups I'm doing my thrusters and I'm just warming up and I remember some of the other UK teams were like how's your teammate and I was like fine and I'm just like that fine and um I just remember Adzi our coach looking at me I can see him across the warm-up room and he starts walking over and I was just like don't do it I know what you're about to do and I just walked off and uh yeah, it's really sad. It's really hard to take and it's like, I'm very confident that it makes you stronger. I'm very like, I do believe that. Um, it's taken a while because I spent the whole of the year before being like, it's all right, like this is gonna make us stronger. It's gonna be so much better. Like it's gonna be so much sweeter when we do it. And then you get hit again and you're like, okay. <laughs> like, I don't know, you're just never gonna forget it. Here's a big one. If you don't make it, would it have still been worth it? <laughs> um, yes, it would be worth it because you have to try, right? And it's like you'd rather you'd rather try and get as close as you can than never know. So I'm confident we'll do it. But well, you have to believe in yourself, right? But we have got we have got the year structured as if we're going to the games, and it's like we've got the training camps in, we've got this, we've got all the dates, and it's like this is what you're doing. And that is planned up until like end of August kind of thing. So it's very much the goal. Let's get into the games. Yeah. Third time's a charm. Yeah, third time's a charm. <laughs> so yeah, let's get there this year. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Nutter, I'm going to pull this out. Thank you very much. Do you know, do you know what a dap is? This is how I like I do not know a dap, no. I'm going <laughs> to oh, no. teach you what a dap is. Uh oh. It's basically, so you know when you say hi to somebody, you like come in yeah. like this. Yeah. Right, we're going to do this. It might take a few tries, but it's going to make up? like a... No, you can stay seated on okay. that. It's like a pop sound. You'll know when it lands, okay? okay. It's just relax. It's like golf. Okay. So you don't have to think. It's not about power. Almost. Wait. Close. Wait. Wait, we'll get that. Oh, that was it, Helen Nutter. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, it's been fun. It's been fun. <laughs> oh, dear. Great Britain's Blueprint CrossFit AOD. One thing to note, we saw at the end of event five that one of the male team members of AOD was actually having to get carried off the floor with an apparent lower leg injury, yet he is still taking the floor for this final event. This is what happens. It's not just about how good you are. It's also about the ability to stay healthy throughout an entire competition. It's a different part of the task as well, yeah. You see that emptiness in lane three on the left side of your screen, so a withdrawal early on from Blueprint CrossFit AOD. They're a previous games team, 29th back in 2021, so that is a big loss from this field. Although maybe it opens up a qualifying spot for somebody else because I think Blueprint AOD was very much in the mix to take one of the 10 qualifying spots.